so in this video I'm going to just show you a range of uh, different sounds different uh, tools that uh, used to create art but they're, they're also great ways of making very soothing noises can hear this paintbrush it's very soothing so we're also going to just do a bit of painting today Nothing, nothing very complicated, just to show you how things can sound very nice. focusing on drawing it's just for the sounds this is picking up Sesame Street and Play School and those kids shows just because of the the sounds, the different sounds that they you'd hear. And uh, look also Bob Ross as well. These are actually watercolored paints. You know, you see some some artwork in the the galleries and stuff, and you wonder. You know, it's it's pretty simple what they've done.
it's like a Lego character. some time ago. This is uh, like a traditional ink pen that you would use. And what you do is you buy some ink and you just soak it up with the pen. another video artist out there he does some, it's called um, a monster a day or something and he creates he just gets like a, a dab of ink and then he will just splotch it and out of the splotch he will make your design and piece of art. It's actually very hard to do this. To do it right, it takes some practice to actually write with this stuff.
let's actually try that. Let's create a random splotch. isn't the best today. I went to a concert last night and even though I wore protection for my ears I still have very bad ringing. I always wear um, protection when I go to concerts just because uh, you, you don't know the the damage that it can do. Sorry about that, I didn't realize it was out of focus. There we go. So now, let's just turn this into something. It can be nowhere as good as um, some of the, the monsters that that guy creates, but uh, anyway, this was more for the sound effects, and I hope they, um, they did good for you. Thanks for watching.